All right, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the garage. Today I have the uh, Predator 212cc motorbike and we are starting a new endeavor. Unfortunately, I, I on accident uh, deleted my footage here but I already started working on it. But what we're gonna be doing is taking off the torque converter, taking this jack shaft off, and um, we're gonna be putting a transmission on this bike. So I've got here two lawnmower transmissions. They're Peerless uh, Tecumseh transmissions. This one came off the diesel motorcycle and this one came off the diesel go-kart if you guys recall. And basically what I'm going to be doing is putting this sprocket here onto this guy. Um, I just like this transmission more because it's smaller and it's a little bit more compact. I believe it has one through five and then there's reverse but I won't really be using reverse. So let me go ahead and take off the motor here and the torque converter. You'll see all that and I'll show you what the uh, layout's gonna be. Alright, so as you can see, the engine is going to be uh, perpendicular with the bike and we're going to have our transmission and it's going to be placed in like so. The chain will go straight here and there's going to be a sprocket here and then the torque converter hopefully will be able to fit back on there somehow and we'll have like a semi-automatic transmission. I guess. We'll see. So I can't really fit the transmission here, so what I think I'll do is I'll go ahead, cut right here, and cut up here. Probably cut these, and uh, it'll open up all this space right here, and I'll be able to fit the transmission in nice and snug. And then we can kind of rebuild the structure of the bike around our transmission. So let me go ahead, cut a few things, and we'll be right back. So I think everything I needed is cut off. I'm just gonna take the motor mount off. There we go. I think that will be enough space. I still gotta cut this thing off. And this, I think I'll just put like so. Yeah, something like that. So I, I can just reuse these holes. So. If you guys remember, I had this uh, this little bearing on here with the sprocket so that I would kind of support it when I was on the go-kart. So I just went ahead, cut it off, and that should slide off. Put this on like, like so, you know. So we are done with this transmission. That guys, I'm not not too terrible, right? Not too bad. As you can see, that's my like trial period right here. And then it got a little better. Yeah, yeah, right, guys. Come on. Nah, I know it looks like shit. All right, let's see uh, how she looks on the bike. Something like that, I suppose, right? There's still no way to tighten this guy onto the transmission, so it's just kind of in the grooves on the uh, shaft. Uh, I'll figure out a way. I might just glue it on or something. It's already grabbing on all the teeth, so it just is this kind of movement that we're worried about. All right, so before I could really do anything to get the engine all in place and everything is get the transmission and the chain to the back wheel all set up and lined up. So I'm gonna, I found this piece of metal here and I'm just gonna go ahead and drill a hole here so that I can just weld this to the frame and then I'll have my transmission in its place. All 
Alright, so here's the tricky part. I'm going to try to line up our transmission. I think it's going to be something like that. It's about where I want the transmission, right here. Oh, if I can't just tack it on there. So I got the first mount actually tacked on there so that I can actually go ahead and uh, try to line it up properly without too much of a hassle. So I think I uh, just about have it all set up. I had to uh, readjust our chain tensioner here. I'm gonna have the spring come into the back still, but um, until I get the transmission all the way in, I'm not gonna mess with the spring because I don't wanna move the transmission. But check this out, guys. It's all lined up. And it's nice and smooth too. So um, I know you guys might be thinking, well, hell, this is a really big sprocket, but in reality, the transmission really knocks down the gear to ratio quite a bit. So uh, I'm gonna start out with this, and uh, the only thing I can really adjust is uh, the input sprocket on our transmission. So we don't have too much leeway if we wanna make this thing faster or slower, so you gotta be careful. But um, I like where it's at right now. I'm gonna go ahead and maybe put the transmission all the way in, get another mount that goes like here, like an L bracket or something, and then uh, we can mount that engine too. All right, so I just went ahead and kind of just through the engine at the frame just to see what it would look like. And as you can see, here's kind of the problem that we're running into. Here's the engine shaft and there's the input shaft to the um, to the transmission way down there. Either I have to cut this bike in half and extend it or somehow make a jack shaft so that I can get a chain down there. Well, wait a second here. Aren't you supposed to be able to put this guy on this side? Two? Oh, maybe not. It's not keyed over here. Flip it, maybe? No. Yeah? I'll come back to you. All right, a couple things, guys. First of all, this thing is gonna look really, really cool, and it's gonna function really, really well. I can feel it. And second thing, I think I have a solution. It's the only real way I could do this without just cutting the entire bike in half and extending the frame, which I really don't want to do. I like how compact everything is and uh, things are already lining up, you know, I have the gas tank and the whatever. So there's enough clearance for the chain and the mount. And then I'm probably gonna go ahead and weld it to our transmission mounts. So it's all gonna be one piece. So that's a plus. So I'm gonna have you know, our belt right here. <laughs> oh man. And then on this side, we're gonna have our chain drive from here to down here. And then we might have like a pulley or something right here so that the chain has a clear path. But to do that, there's no other way unless I replace this whole thing with a 5 8 inch shaft that's longer or I grab one of these. Where is it? This guy right here. This is the uh, same same thing that's in here already. I'm gonna cut it where this um, ledge is right here, and then weld the rest of it on to the end here to extend it. Just I just need an inch out of it. That's about it. And then I should have enough space to put a sprocket on there. So that's the plan for now. Where I'm gonna put my feet after all this is said and done, I have no idea. But I think it's gonna look pretty sweet. I think this video is getting a little long, so I'm gonna go ahead and do one last thing before we end the video, and that is to extend this. So I am gonna cut this off a little bit and weld it onto the end here. Okay, so here is my setup for the, uh, the elongation of our uh, shaft here. So since the shaft uh, is a little bit thicker right here, I can't just put it all on the angle iron and weld it or else it'll be so I have this little gap right here. So I think uh, I'm gonna go weld this up and see how it does. Okay, so this is our welded up shaft. Put it back in the uh, torque converter. Oh, it's still hot, ouch. And uh, let's put the sprocket on and see how true this thing looks. Look at that. I don't see any deviation. It looks perfectly true. Like, 
That's crazy. And there's our shaft right under there. So now that we got that kind of solved, the issue is still there's gonna be a chain right next to my leg. So I was thinking I could maybe cut this in half and just uh, use these same uh, holes right here and I can cover it up. And I think I have another one laying around somewhere down there so I can use the other side like normal too. Save my legs from utter destruction. All right, folks, I think that is going to be it for the first part of our motorcycle lawnmower bike. So here are the comments from the last uh, video or two that I enjoyed. If you want to be featured, just write a comment and maybe I'll put it up. All right, guys, until next time, I'll see you later.